All right, today we're throwing it back a little bit and talking about the most overpowered tactical ever used in competitive Call of Duty. We're going all the way back to Black Ops 2 and talking about the EMP grenade. Now, before I get into the video, I just wanted to promote uh, the off-season tournament that's going on this weekend. Uh, if you're in the Dallas area, make sure to get your tickets. Optic and TST are basically throwing a Black Ops 2 throwback tournament. Uh, as well as some other tournaments like a, a melee singles tournament and a few other esport titles uh, but it's all for charity so if you're in the area go get your tickets and if not uh, go support the stream because it is for a good cause all right so we're throwing it back all the way 10 years ago into black ops 2 the year that everything kind of kicked off really uh, for a competitive call of duty it really skyrocketed during that year uh, but we're going to be talking about the in-depths of the tactical usage so pretty much the meta uh, sort of changed throughout the entire game but most of the time you're having your concussion players your smoke players your trophy players but every now and then you would see some EMPs being thrown. So EMPs were actually not being used uh, very much throughout the beginning of the game. Uh, you know, probably up until champs, I wanna say just Impact and MV were mainly the only teams using it. But then later on you see Complexity uh, really abusing it and teams like Unite also really abusing it because of how OP it actually was uh, to use. So to break down how overpowered it actually was, I'll just list some of the benefits uh, right here for you guys. So. First, it had the most insane area of effect uh, that probably we've ever seen uh, for a tactical. Uh, the range was absolutely ridiculous, so no matter where you threw it pretty much, if it was in some relatively short distance uh, with the enemy, they were getting impacted by it. The next thing is it actually weakened and kind of distorted the enemy player similar to a stun, so it's kind of just like a stun on steroids. Obviously not as good with delaying movement, but you know, you get all the static on your screen, you wouldn't be able to see that your minimap and your HUD, it would disable trophy systems, uh, you wouldn't be able to see enemy nameplates. Uh, it was just so, so impactful because a lot of things you would actually need to utilize while you're in gunfights or while you're playing the game were just completely removed simply because of a tactical. And the biggest thing was that it just completely disabled your entire HUD and minimap. So everything that you were doing was reliant on the comms that you were getting and, and using that info because you weren't getting anything from your minimap. So you're limited to basically just anything that was in your point of view at the time, uh, which is a really big deterrent for competitive players. So for players that had a lot of in-game knowledge and a high game IQ, uh, this wasn't as much of a problem, but for players that really lacked in that aspect, it was so hard for them to actually play the game with this. And sometimes you'd even see, you know, coaches uh, when they weren't banned at the time, basically calling out for that player based on what they saw with the rest of the players while they were behind their screen. So it was really, really uh, such a useful tool. And I didn't even mention this, but it also disabled you from completely calling in any sort of streak that you had. So even if you were ahead in the game and had that advantage, if you were hit by that EMP and that lasted like a good, I wanna say five seconds, you weren't able to call your streak for that entire duration. So one of the bigger proponents of the EMP grenade was that complexity team that won, I believe seven of eight tournaments throughout the end of that Black Ops 2 season. Uh, and they really utilized this, especially Crim6, who was basically using uh, double EMPs pretty much every life uh, in his respawns. And you'd also see teams like Unite, where it would either be Nameless or Parasite running those double EMPs. Uh, and later on, towards the end of the season, everyone was basically using uh, some sort of that. You know, even towards Gfinity 2, Epsilon was a team uh, that gave Complexity a little bit of trouble, and they were running, you know, double, sometimes even triple EMPs uh, with Jurid and Gunchy. So there were times where teams were starting to catch on to this meta and finally towards the end of it uh, people were just running this and abusing it so going into these throwback tournaments that are in the off season you always see two maybe even three emps per team and you'll 100 percent see it this weekend in the off season two tournament but the thing was with EMPs was we're going back to Black Ops 2 here and we had the pick 10 system. So there was balance between the perks, between the lethals, between the tacticals, even with the class setups. So there was a counter to the EMP grenade and that was hardwired. But the thing was, you would actually have to be willing to switch off and on onto hardwired, whether it was taking tack mask off or removing something else so that you can use that perk. You know, that was the balance to this. So if you saw a team was using two or three EMPs, all you'd have to do was strap on that perk uh, and you wouldn't be affected by them anymore. The thing is though, it didn't affect your equipment so your trophies were still fair game for those EMP grenades even though you personally weren't. So the complexity team, you know, Aix and Krim have both talked about this 
uh, pretty openly since the Black Ops 2 season and talked about how, you know, they were just really completely abusing these EMP grenades because of how OP they were. And knowing that the game knowledge of their opponents was most of the time inferior, they were just, you know, abusing this and they can just completely wipe the enemy team, not only from a kill slang basis, but also from a game knowledge and a more info based approach because they were able to abuse uh, the lack of information that the other team was getting uh, with these EMPs on them. So a big advantage that the complexity team had was once they would use these two or three EMPs, sometimes even four, you know, that would require the enemy team to switch to hardwired, but this gave them that leg up because now they could switch over back to the concussion grenades and basically always be on that front foot over their opponents and always having that edge because, you know, the enemy team would have to react to what they were doing rather than the other way around. Now that we're actually 10 years removed from the season, you know, you could definitely say that EMPs would have been GA'd if we had that system going back in the day uh, because of how overpowered they were. But, you know, going back and watching those VODs and seeing how impactful they were, you know, even in the old CODcaster, uh, that would be completely disabled because of the fact in CODcaster they were literally just showing the POVs, so it wouldn't differentiate between the caster and the player. Uh, but you can even see for yourself how much teams were actually being EMP'd. So these top teams really abused this EMP grenade, uh, especially Complexity, and they were probably just the most notable ones because they were the best at playing off of it and obviously winning those tournaments based on this gameplay. But like I said before, other teams did abuse it, but most of the teams weren't using it to the extent that they could have been using it to. And for Complexity, this was just that extra skill gap uh, that they were able to create because you know they already had that game knowledge gap and that slang gap. So this was just that extra icing on the cake that they were able to use and abuse to get that extra edge on their opponents. So thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown of what EMPs were really like back in Black Ops 2. And I hope you guys get the chance to support uh, the Off Season 2 stream uh, because it is for a good cause and it's really going to be fun uh, with this Black Ops 2 tournament So you'll even be able to see the EMPs there, uh, but thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one